Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick video to talk about the overall performance of the May 2019 update. So this is going to of course happen soon in the next couple of weeks we will have this available for pretty much everybody and one of the questions that we get is how about performance? Is this gonna slow down my PC? Is this bigger and does it you know um, actually uh, you know have too many new features and my PC will be bogged down so if we just talk straight about Windows 10 itself this update is actually pretty much gonna be the same in performance as any previous Windows update Windows 10 has pretty much stayed um, at the same performance level throughout the last few updates. So they're working hard to not, you know, have a Windows 10 operating system that gets bloated or bigger and has too much to run and then slows down every PC. So not only that, but one of the biggest advantages of Windows 10 May 2019 update for some of you will be that you might actually get the mitigation, the new mitigation from Google, the uh, red pulling fix, which is a fix that actually uh, will help your computer run faster. What's that? Red pulling is the fix that actually mitigates the meltdown inspector flaws in the Intel CPUs that we talked about last year. But the fix that was available by microcode from Intel, what happened is that fix slowed down PCs up to 30%. What's cool with this May 2019 update is that the red pulling, the Google fix is in here, and the red pulling fix only slows down PCs anywhere from 5 to 15%. So it's much better, meaning that this performance might actually be better. I personally have the performance uh, often looked at by a couple of software that I use that give me a CPU load, tells me how much my PC is actually being used. One of them is my streaming software for live shows. And I gotta say that with the May 2019 update, yes, the load on my PC is much smaller. I went from uh, pretty much an average of, for example, when I was streaming on HD, my average of CPU load was somewhere around 80% easily. With the May 2019 update, that has gone down to an average of approximately 65%. That means my computer works actually uh, doesn't work as hard to do the same tasks since I've upgraded to the May 2019 update. That said, if you're on the October 2018 update, you have that fix also. Microsoft has issued an update, and you should have the Red Pauline fix that uh, makes your PC a little faster. But if you're running an older version than the October 2018 update, well, that's one reason why May t the May 2019 update might actually be a good idea because that will actually speed up your computer. And performance-wise, overall, everything is pretty much at the same level or faster. I can't complain of anything. Some people were asking about the gaming experience. So in the May 2019 update, they've tweaked some of the gaming stuff, but not a lot of it. What mostly is going to happen is that manufacturers of the NVIDIA cards uh, and the uh, AMD Red Radeon and Intel um, you know, graphics GPUs have updated their drivers for optimization of the May 2019 update. So if you get improvements in, in you know, frames per second in a game, for example, it will have a lot to do with the fact with two things. The red pulling fix that actually makes your Windows operating system faster. So of course, makes your games faster. Also, the uh, latest drivers from the manufacturers might actually help you speed up the um, gaming on Windows 10 May 2019 update. So overall, May 2019 update as fast, if not faster, than what y'all had before. Another reason why I think it's good to upgrade to this one. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.